I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on polynomials. Now let us understand zeros of polynomial function. The example here is find all zeros of f of x equal to x to the power of 4 minus x cube minus 3x square plus 17x minus 30 given that 1 plus 2i is a root of f of x. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, let's understand a few facts. In this particular case, we have degree of 4, right? That means there are 4 zeros. Now, these zeros could be real or imaginary. Now, if we have imaginary zeros, then they are always in conjugate. So, what we are given here is 1, 0, which is imaginary 0. So, that also means that 1 minus 2i should be a 0. So, always the imaginary zeros appear in conjugate pair. This is because imaginary zeros or you can say roots appear in conjugate pairs okay so this is very important to understand now knowing that that means we already know two out of four zeros we need to find the other two so when we know 1 plus 2i is a 0, what is a factor? So that means the factors are x minus the 0, which is 1 plus 2i. And another factor is also x minus the other 0, which is 1 minus 2i. Correct? So definitely, since... 1 plus and minus 2i is a root or a 0. These are the two factors, correct? For sure, of the given equation, right? Since 1 plus minus 2i is a 0. Perfect. So that is how we see all this. So what we can do here is we can just expand this factor and then we'll come out with a quadratic polynomial dividing the given polynomial by that quadratic polynomial we can be in a position to find the other roots right so let us expand this so what we'll do now here is that we will expand x minus 1 plus 2i times x minus 1 minus 2i easy way to do this is to open the bracket and we can write this as x minus 1 right and then we have when you open this bracket you get minus 2i the other one gives you x minus 1 plus 2i correct now look at it in this fashion if I put brackets here we have x minus 1 minus 2i and here we have x minus 1 plus 2i. So that, be, that becomes like difference of squares. Perfect. So I could write this as equal to x minus 1 whole square minus 2i whole square. Correct. So this factor, let us expand this further. We get what? We get x square minus 2x plus 1 this portion the first portion and minus 2i square is what is plus 4 since we know that i square is negative 1 right since since we know that i square is negative 1 correct it's imaginary number so that gives you one factor which is x square minus 2x plus 5 so we now know that this is also a factor of the given function f of x. 
perfect knowing this factor helps us to find the other factors now we can actually divide the given function with the quadratic trinomial right so let's do it so we'll divide this we have x to the power of 4 minus x cube minus 3x square plus 17x minus 30 and we are going to divide this by x square minus 2x plus 5 okay so we need to first multiply by x square that gives us x to the power of 4 minus 2x cube plus 5x square taking the difference we get what we get here x cube here we get minus 8x square bringing down 17 then we have to multiply by x so it gives us x cube minus 2x square plus 5x and then when you take this we get 6 minus 6x six square and this will give you 12 right plus 12x bringing down minus 30 minus 6 you we'll multiply by minus 6 that gives us minus 6x square minus and minus becomes plus 12x and this becomes minus 30 and the remainder as expected is 0 Right? We expected this to be a factor. So basically, we have come up with the quotient which is x squared plus x minus 6. Now, we can this factor the quotient which is x squared plus x minus 6 using product and sum. So 2 times 3. So it could be written as x plus 3 times x minus 2 perfect so we get all our factors now and so now we can write down the answer that the roots are we are already given 1 plus we have 1 mi plus minus 2i those are the two complex conjugate roots and here we get minus 3 and then we get plus 2 so whatever makes this 0 are the roots so roots are this for f of x correct so that is how we can actually solve such a question i hope that helps feel free to write your comments and share your views if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best